This one is called Crippled Summer. Let's get into this. Let's go. This program contains subject matter and language that may be disturbing to some viewers. Okay. The discretion is advised. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Oh, the talking towel. The towel. The drug addict. I just can't seem to stop. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> what? Don't forget to bring a towel. <coughs> so weed and crack so far. Get out of my face. Get out of here. Yo, <laughs> that is crazy, dude. My name is Towley. T O W E L Y E Y. Bro, what? Oh, great. I, I forgot if that's him. Now you spell it. Nice, nice. One hundred percent machine washable. Hell yeah. I'm just an ordinary towel in a lot of ways, except for one. Are you addicted to drugs? I I'm guess. Addicted to marijuana. Oh, just weed. Just meth. Oh, and meth. And crack. <laughs> and crack, dude. Yeah, just a little bit of crack, you know. Damn, dude. Two years later. Jesus. Now it has become a complete nightmare in our town. Oh, the boys already know. House twice and stolen my allowance. I've got almost nothing left. I just don't want to watch him kill himself. Oh my days! <laughs> I don't even know who he is anymore. <laughs> Damn, bro. So Tauli's had that big of an impact on the boys. Cool. Oh, these are our special needs friends, yeah, for the episode. Do you mean to me? Favorite time of year. Again. Nice. Hey, Francis. Hey, Francis. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Tim. Tonight. Nice. Hi, good. Let's get Lenora a towel. Not Towley. <laughs> the towel isn't here. I think it's off getting high again. Oh, it actually is Towley. Just give him a normal towel. Oh, he's been working the camp. 14 times, bro. How many warnings do you want to give someone? Oh, well, yeah. Just a sec. We went out he's injecting himself? Up, so we got wet campers down there. Move your ass. When Tally is doing heroin, Brother. he doesn't care about anything. We can wear a stick it to the wet team this year. <laughs> no way, wet team can beat us. No way. <laughs> Don't know what hit them. All right, everyone together. Are we gonna beat red team this year? They look like <laughs> other cartoon characters. Who's this support? I recognize their faces. I feel like the characters of some of the special needs kids is like inspired from like Disney cartoons, perhaps. That look like that dog person. Dog person? How can you be a dog and a man? You know what I mean, right? I'll probably put a picture or something here. Look at that. Whoa, how did I do that? It's editing. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Let's go. Kenzie, that Jimmy kid makes my fucking skin crawl. <laughs> nah, you always hated Jimmy, boss. Ever since he whooped you at Soyfin last summer camp, he really took it to your good, huh? Dude. Mimsy, there is no way that blue team is gonna be red sick. team this year at camp. You got that? Past three summers. What okay. we need to do, Mimsy, is to make sure Blue Team can't compete. Oh boy, we're gonna ruin Blue Team's chances, huh? We're gonna break their legs or something, boys? Oh my days. Shut up, Mimsy. Oh, punching Let's him, bro. And we can make sure Jimmy Vama gets what's Dude. coming to him. So he's the wise guy type of guy, and he's the sidekick that's kind of stupid that just follows what he does, right? <laughs> Who hired Tauli? He can barely walk, let alone dry somebody off. You think you're fucking hot shit? A lot of times when Tally shoots Harry, Brother. gets angry at everybody. Get this guy sucked, bro. Suck it. The thing is, Tally was pretty happy before. He had a girlfriend he liked. A human girlfriend. And then she Martin. got pregnant and had a little washcloth. Oh, yeah, she had a kid, bro. And he got kicked out of the house. Fuck you. Let me talk to him. <laughs> Let me talk to him, you bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. His ex-wife will not let her son talk to Tauli when he's no, high. I'm not high! I haven't been high since Wednesday! Oh, oh, it is Wednesday? Alright, campers! Oh boy, the canoe races! We gotta be, 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 beat the red team! You see what I mean? Yeah. I got a way to win the race and get rid of Jimmy for good. Durr, oh boy, what are we gonna <laughs> do, boys? Oh, it's a snake! Not just any snake, Mimsy. It's a black mamba. I get the impression these were all backfire. Just by the way it's being presented, the black member is the deadliest snake known to man. Oh, oh, oh sorry, guys. 
The odds of surviving a black. 560. 546 to 1. Damn. You boys excited for the canoe race? Bro, bro, black mamba snake. I like the fun canoe. Canoes are fun, aren't they? Now take the black mamba, Lindsay, <laughs> and put it in the canoe. He's clever, though, I suppose. Are we ready? Come on, Jimmy. Team Blue. Good luck, Jimmy. You're gonna need it, you fucking asshole. <laughs> on your mark. Get set. Let's go. I'm Team Blue, of course. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Look at that smile, bro. Ah, hey! What the hell did you do? Sir, you said to put the black mamba in the canoe, boss. No, ours, mate. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Nice. That's a lesson in cheating right there, you know? Hey, hey, we need a towel. I, that's what that can happen. Is it getting high again? Oh! You are no longer employed here. Damn. Hey, we need a nice, clean towel here. Bro. He's got jizz on his towel, dude. All right, campers. Next event is the big scavenger hunt. We're going to get Jimmy killed by Native Americans. <laughs> My days out of fun. this. It's a fake scavenger hunt map. That map leads to the Indian reservation. We switch this with Blue Team's scavenger hunting map, and they'll end up right on the Tarikaka Indian Reservation. Dude. Protective of their land. I'm gonna get Jimmy killed by Indians, huh, boss? This is gonna backfire again, isn't it? All right, Minzy. <laughs> now you take this map to the Indian Reservation, and you switch it with Blue Team's map. You got that, Minz? You switch the map. I got it, boss. Switch the map. Switch the map. You've got Mimsy on your team, it's probably not gonna go right, bro. Because, stupid, now that we have Blue Team's map, we can get their scavenger prize. <laughs> oh, my oh, boy! Why would they make us go this far? We're handicapped. Turn left at the... Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute, what, He speaks sense, the... though. Oh. oh. fuck! Oh, you told me to switch the map, switch the map! So I switched it, and I switched it! <laughs> Mimsy! <laughs> oh, because he said it twice. That is crazy, bruh. I suppose he did say no trespassing. What can you do, bruh? If you die, you die. Hey, everybody! <laughs> can you get high off those? For hard drugs. You must have one dusty computer. Fuck you! It's not illegal, bitch! Oh my Jesus Christ. Bro! His insides must be destroyed. I feel like I could conquer the world! 2,000 two thousand cans a day, boy. Like I'm walking on sunshine. 2,000 a day. Open the door. Go away, I'm walking on sunshine. <laughs> Kelly, I gotta take you somewhere really important. Look on the sunshine a little more. He wants to get high, bruh. All right. In the surfing competition, the red team is up three points to two. So the red team are winning some events, I guess. I finally got it, Mizzy. I got a way we can get rid of Jimmy one time for all. We're gonna get Jimmy eaten by a shark. Here, take this. It's a shark mating whistle. Uh, shark okay, mating? Boy, a shark mating whistle. You can attract sharks right as Jimmy starts to surf. Is that a real thing? What? The deadliest freshwater shark in Colorado. Damn. I got it, boss. I blow the whistle. And the more you know, right? Bite Jimmy's legs off. They almost heard me saying we was gonna kill Jimmy. <laughs> Shut up, Mimsy. Just swim in the water with Shut up, Mimsy. <laughs> what? Oh, boy. Let's go, Jimmy. I like his surfboard. It's like fire. These are pretty big. I got to need a shark whistle. Oh, my dude. This is like old school Disney tunes or just old school cartoons where they like break third wall and stuff like that, you know? Break the fourth wall? Third wall? Oh, he's riding the wave on real water. That's hilarious, dude. Let's go, Jim. <laughs> nice. Yes, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, boy. Nice. Mimsy, I swam in the water, so now I'm going to blow the whistle. He's actually special, isn't he, Mimsy? You don't blow a shark mating whistle on dry land. You are supposed to blow it. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Get this thing off of me! Nine inches, boy! Bro, that is crazy! Nine inches! And he's a kid! Oh my god, I can't. What, what's 
What's going on? <laughs> you want to come on over, have a seat with your friends? Well, imagine walking into an intervention, bro. I'd be so pissed. What is mate. everybody doing here? <laughs> I suppose they care about him, innit? So if you look at it from that perspective. Yeah. And they're going to say what they want to say, then you're going to say what you want to say, and we're done. Okay? I have seen drug addiction affect you in the following ways. Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> Tal, you, you need to let him finish. You used to be fluffy and absorbent. You now are crusty and and unable to absorb. Ooh, he's still got the jizz marks on him. Get help today. Get, at least have a shower, dude. You know. Get this. All right, Eric. Do you want to go next? You never know, with Eric. Thank you so much. You are a liar and a swindler who would do anything for money. And I'm here for Tally, fat ass. <laughs> oh, he's talking about Kyle. Right? Is that right? Kyle, we have to let people be allowed to finish during interventions. Brother. But he's just using his time on television to rant about- Kyle, please! It is not your turn. Where exactly did the Jews first get their power, and how are they able to manipulate our minds today? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm saying. You never know with Cartman, innit? You could just say anything. Oh, aloha. Hey. Oh, she sounds good. Red team planted half a pound of C4 in the ukulele. Dude, he's going to some extreme lengths now, man. C4, really? Mm. Oh, lovely. Nice. Hey, I don't think he's playing all right notebook. The C4 ain't gonna go off. Shut up, Mimsy. Probably messed up somewhere, Mimsy, mate. And I believe I've presented enough evidence here to prove that they are. Then we must unite as a species to fight them and stop their plan Dude, of global domination. I just realized he's got this much paper. Okay, Stan, you want to go next? Bro, come Tally, on. If you do not go to treatment, we will all ignore you forever. Will you go? What treatment? What are nice you and sweet, talking Stan. about? Oh, I'm not getting on no fucking plane. This is bullshit. I thought you were my fucking friends. Well, Tally, your friends don't want to you, watch you kill yourself anymore. Then fuck them. You're telling me I have to do this and I'm not left with any decisions here. <laughs> Tally, we are the only ones in this intervention who've been hurt by you. Ooh. Who are you talking about? His baby mama, maybe? Oh, his kid. <laughs> washcloth? You, you brought washcloth? Oh, that's low. That's low, dude. Has washcloth got eyes? Oh. Oh, he needs to have a certain pattern for it to be activated. Sorry, Mims. I, I just can't remember it. Well, we want you to play it, don't we? Yeah. Who's gonna play it? All right, Mimsy. It's gonna Mimsy, be one of them. Oh. Ah, okay. He's already forgot. Yes. Bro, Jimmy, please step back, dude. Please step back. You are the biggest idiot I have ever met. And from now on, I'm gonna do it myself. <sighs> yeah, he's the biggest idiot. Nice one, bro. He got blown up. Yeah. Oh, I thought the, I thought the shark was gonna come back and and do the same thing. Oh what? Oh no! Ah! Yo, that is crazy. <laughs> All right, all right, I'll go. <laughs> you will? <laughs> I don't want to hurt Washcloth anymore. <laughs> He's going, everybody. Come Damn, on. Damn, bro, this is deep. <laughs> it's nice to have people that care about you. You know, at least he has that. Some people have no one, bro, and they're in a dark place. <laughs> Nathan, your team put up an amazing fight, and even though I hold oh, nice crown, I want you to know that you were the real ch ch champ. That would sting even more. You, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate you with everything in my entire being. <laughs> oh, like Christ. Just how the game goes, man. You know? You could be the most nicest person on planet Earth, and still there'll be someone who's like, oh, this guy's cringe. You know? <laughs> this is how it is. Just accept it. Cowley is definitely one of the most addicted towels we've ever seen here. There's more towels that I like this? Some nasty stuff. I suppose in a universe where there's crab people, then this makes sense, I'm isn't it? Love what I am. I'm a Look better, Towley, bro. Towley's finished treatment and is back living with his girlfriend, Rebecca. Nice. He's been sober since April 26, 2010. What's the date today, then? If you know a towel that is suffering from addiction, please go to www. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting uh, finish there. I'm glad, at least, Towley is back to his old self. I don't know exactly the dates from when he was last sober to when it was now, but I'm hoping it's been quite some time. 
Um, obviously, it's nice to see that he has people that care about him, like the kids. And uh, it's also good to see that he's back with his girlfriend. It's good that she gave him another chance. But this episode, I, I actually really enjoyed the episode. It was very different in the way that it was set up. Like, it was almost like a documentary style. I think pretty much that's what they were kind of going for. And you also had... Um, well, new characters to me, Mimsy and the boss guy, I forgot his name. Uh, and um, we've seen more Jimmy. Jimmy. So Jimmy is that guy. Jimmy is him amongst uh, kids with special needs. And, and he, the thing is, Jimmy is actually him amongst the normal kids as well. Because he's probably the most talented out of all of them. Naturally talented, I think, because of his, um, his jokes, his performances. He can play the guitar. He can surf. Jimmy is him, guys. Yeah. I wish we did see a little bit more of Timmy um, just doing stuff, even though all he ever says is, uh, what does he say? Timmy. He just says Timmy. But um, yeah, it's good to see from their perspective. I really like Jimmy. He's actually one of my favorite characters. Um, I've also mentioned this before. Um, South Park does a good job of portraying people with special needs in the way that they're just kind of normal characters. They just so happen to have special needs. And I think this episode kind of showed it. Except for maybe Mimsy. Mimsy, I mean, you do get you get people that aren't disabled that act like that, that are just stupid. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, perhaps Mimsy is the only one there that kind of is just super slow. But everyone else, they have special needs, but they still act normal. Maybe they have speech impediments here and there, but they're still kind of accepted amongst um, people around. But maybe not Cartman. Cartman will probably rip into anyone, in all fairness, because it's Cartman. But super great episode. I really did enjoy that episode. I hope you guys did too. If you did, subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.